LCCS is a program that's designed to give the public greater insight into how sentences are decided and in particular the balance between giving people prison sentences or giving them sentences in the community. We're here to make a presentation to uh, Year 11s um, to look at um, magistrates in the community and the role of the probation service. It's essentially a group of magistrates and a group of probation staff who go out into the community to speak to a cross-section of society that wouldn't necessarily know about community orders and to make people more aware of um, what the probation service have to offer. We would do it from everything to say 11-year-olds at a school right through to the University of the Third Age, which, is, which would be retired people. The presentation is delivered by a magistrate and a probation officer. And the reason being, of course, that when we come to sentencing, it's the magistrates who make the decisions, but we are hugely influenced by probation and what their recommendations are. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to look at a particular offender and a particular couple of offences, so it's a case history. Today we're looking at John Dunn and we've adapted the material slightly for uh, the age group and we go through an interview uh, with probation and it's very interactive in terms of the pupils are asked to become the magistrates and make the decision based on the information that they're provided with by us. We look at a, a CCTV and a news report of the actual offence um, and then we think about how serious is that offence, what's the actual charge, what are the possible penalties. Now in order to make the best community order for somebody we need a lot more information than we've got already so we need to interview John Dunn and find out why he's committed these offences. A key part of it is the probation officer and the report that the interview and the report that they do which guides the sentence then we move into an actual sentencing exercise and then discuss at the end you know whether people think it should have been prison or it should have been community. Um, we picked drug rehabilitation, supervision and community payback. It's really important for the public to be aware of how hard Sussex and Surrey probation staff work with offenders and many people don't. They feel that community sentences are a soft option. What we want to do is for people to understand the factors which will influence whether somebody would go to prison or not and also understand community sentences more which are actually very onerous. So definitely not prison. And your reasons for not sending him to prison? These particular students that we've been uh, presenting to today are actually doing law as part of their GCSEs. So obviously they have a particular interest, but the amount of interaction and, and clear interest that they had was, was, was very, very good. I like that it was really interactive and we got a lot of say and we could ask questions. At first when I saw that he attacked the um, paramedic and the lady, in the ambulance, I thought he should go to prison straight away, but when I heard about his drug problems and how he could help the community and he had a, like a small job, he should get community orders instead. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It was so interactive. They weren't just talked at, you know, it was it really got involved in it and actually had to think about the reasons why sentences are chosen. It went really well today. The um, pupils were so interactive. They asked lots of questions. It's really refreshing at the end of the presentation that they clearly have a better understanding of what community sentences are all about.